All right, so let's talk about this Twitch um, foam pit thing, okay, real quick. So, um, yeah, so, so, how, where do we start? Conventions. What? What is a convention, huh? Uh, well, a convention is a place, it is basically a vortex of advertisers and PR experts trying to do literally anything that they can think of to get you to come look at their product. And they'll do things that don't even have anything to do with their product. Conventions are very, very strange places. Now, I've been to quite a, quite a lot of conventions in my time. I've actually worked some conventions. Uh, I've done a lot of different stuff. Probably many of you have been to lots of conventions. Um, but um, conventions, most conventions, okay, are like health and well-being nightmare zones, okay? As in like, uh, there's a thing that people call con crud. Uh, if you've ever heard that term, I don't know if you have, but uh, it's basically, it refers to you getting like basically a, like a, a, a cocktail of multiple diseases after you leave the con, you have like the flu, a cold and pneumonia and like a norovirus all at once. Um, so, you know, conventions, have uh, and I'm not this is not me saying that you aren't gonna have fun at a convention because like I mean of course now COVID but I was talking about what people were talking about before now of course COVID is the predominant concern obviously that's mixed in the mix basically conventions were invented by Father Nurgle to spread disease and um and while you can have a lot of fun at a convention just recognize that your health you're basically sacrificing health in the name of fun, no matter what type of convention you go to. Um, and convention goers have unwashed asses. It is, it does depend on the uh, convention, but yes, most people do say that. And keep in mind that like, uh, that like bath, the bathroom situation at most cons is, is also uh, not good. And convention food is always hot garbage. A convention food is like cooked in like, uh, in like, you know, the equivalent of like a stadium hot dog stand, but they try to sell you fancy shit because they know they can make a ton of money because it's a convention. So when you're buying convention food, it's usually like just like real garbage. It's the ick. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yep. They also fuck pizzas there. I believe it. I believe that you can get a uh, pizza with extra, extra cheese. Um, but, uh, but, but there's another thing. This is all just explaining the general danger of conventions because the concentrated danger of conventions is that at every convention, there is at least one complete, like coked up psychopath marketing PR guy who's like, I know what we need to have. We need to have an adult and then insert the word here, trampoline, ball pit, a uh, bouncy house, a uh, Velcro wall, a uh, uh, inflatable running track thing. It, it's 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 just just that. There's like a, a, there's always one guy, and this year, um, oh don't worry, I'm gonna put it on screen. Don't you worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll, I'll show you this shit. Okay, don't you worry. All right. Well, I'm I I might not put that one up right now, but but hold on a second. I have to show you guys what I'm talking about because see. TwitchCon had one of those guys, at least one of those guys, as all conventions do. And the one for TwitchCon, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh boy, here we go. All right, let's just watch it. You know what I mean? Because uh, TwitchCon decided that they were going to have um, a foam pit. A foam pit. Now, um, the foam pit is, of course... As all convention adult insert whatever here, uh, it's of dubious construction. Usually because they don't actually have like a professional doing it. It's usually some custom project. It's usually some portable so they can take it to multiple conventions. And this one, they decided to do a foam pit. And specifically it was a foam pit with two uh, upraised uh, uh, platforms, okay? And, uh, and the, uh, and the platforms are so that you can fight each other with, 
like big stuffed sticks, okay? So you're gonna see that at the beginning of this, okay? Here, let me show you. So here you can see right here what I'm talking about. There's two upraised platforms. Here are the little weapons that you use to fight each other with. And then there's foam here. However, if you'll notice, if you'll notice, this is good. And by the way, just warning, this is a very painful video to watch. Uh, there's no blood or gore or anything like that. But, uh, but, but yeah. Um, so I, I just want you to notice that the, the floor is right here. So you can see just about how deep this thing is. Just an approximation of how deep it is. And the answer is, it's not very deep. It's like really, really thin. Okay, so I want you to watch what happens and then we're gonna talk about it. So just be be aware, it's gonna be ouchy, okay? Here we go. Okay, so you can hear her. This is the moment right here, okay? So you see how, how, how much air she got? Bam! Now, you'll notice she went straight through and, and, and you can hear her cry out when she hits the ground. Sense of her own! Great victory there. He's saying no. She's held down by the pit bull medic. Are you okay? Gravity. No, no, she's fine. All right, we'll make sure she's okay. Get her out of the pit. Landed on her tailbone. Yeah. Now she lives in the pit now. I kind of think. And uh, of course, the stupid announcer keeps talking, but you know, the the little Intel Legion announcer is still trying to make jokes and whatever. But yeah. So, now, you might go, damn, that looked like it hurt. It didn't just hurt, okay? Because I want to I wanna give you guys the follow-up on this. This is the person, Adriana Cheshik. Adriana Cheshik, right here. I think I'm saying her name correctly. Well, I broke my back in two places, and I'm getting surgery to put a meter-long rod in for support today. Send your support. When it rains, it pours, and I am definitely feeling the rain right now now oh boy um god damn yeah it's it is so fucked up she was trying to keep everyone calm yeah i'm sure she was i'm sure she was i was just saying that like the, the my point there is to say that pr people fucking pr people for intel whatever are not trained to deal with the dangers of a fucking bar pit, I mean, of a ball pit, uh, a ball pit with extra, like, like fighting and adults that are all older than they think they are at a convention, okay? So, uh, and I've now heard that there were at least two other injuries that someone broke their leg and someone, uh, hurt their sprain their ankle or hurt their ankle which is like jesus christ um and uh yeah so people might say oh well it doesn't look like it's that high but i want you to oh here's the one yeah here's somebody who broke an ankle okay yeah uh yep here you have another person right outside of the ball pit you can see the area over here and here they are with their leg up they broke their ankle holy shit um, and Locke Vaness dislocated a knee. Here we go. Here's the third person. Yep, here you go. So here you have them in the hole again. And here you go. Now she's rolling around because she dislocated her knee. God damn. God damn. Oh, that's unfortunate. Take a look at this. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do shit about it because we had to sign a waiver. Waivers don't really matter when people are getting seriously injured and they continue to let people play. This is blatant negligence. Yeah, um, waivers only... Yeah, yeah, waivers only hold up so far. At what point do we shut down the home, the foam pit? Okay, this is why I said uh, that, like, conventions... Okay, all right, all right, hold on. Let, let's start. Let's start this over again. Let's pretend that you're going to a convention, okay? Uh, 
you're going to a convention and you're having a great time with your friends. You haven't, you know, you haven't gone to a big event like this in a couple years. You're really excited. You're excited. You want to try new things, see new games, see new video games, try new food, blah, blah, blah. And you walk in and then there's this, uh, let's just pick a random company. This is fictional. So let's just say Logitech, okay? Let's say Logitech, you know, the mouse company. Let's say that you're at the convention. You see that the Logitech people have set up one of those mechanical bulls, okay? And they're like, oh, come on, come ride the Logitech mechanical bull. If you can stay on for 10 seconds, you'll get a free Logitech mouse. Yeehaw! Okay? Um, <laughs> okay? Uh, think twice before you climb on that mechanical bull because chances are they put that thing together like two hours before and it was originally designed to be in like a padded room that was custom designed for the mechanical bull and they've decided to put it into like a portable convention stand thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jade Monkey says, do the Jesus lean, snap! Do the Jesus lean, snap! Oof, no! <laughs> All right, listen. Yeah, so so uh this is what the pit is supposed to be constructed like. Yes, yes. This is this is exactly. This is what a real foam pit looks like. These pits only work when they are deep. You can see just how shallow this one is because they're stacking foam cubes on the floor. It's no wonder that people got hurt. This was an exceedingly dangerous setup. An absolutely dangerous setup. 100% correct. Like, this is what, like, a gymnastic foam pit looks like that people can fucking flop into, and it's because there's, like, t 10 fucking feet of distance. By the end of it. Nobody thought of this while constructing? No, because they don't care. This is, this is, it, 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 these are the people who are trying to get as much attention onto the Intel whatever. They're trying to generate as much hype for their products. That's what conventions are all about. So like, yeah. Um, yeah, just be careful, okay? Don't, don't do silly things in dubious Things like, I, by the way, I'm not blaming any of the people involved, just so that we're clear, okay? Like, I'm not, I'm not blaming any of the, I'm not blaming any of the people who are injured at all. They were just having fun at a convention. I'm warning people for the future to be careful whenever you're at a convention because conventions always do this bullshit, but you're, you shouldn't be expected to like, have to have to think that every every single convention that you go to with big name brands that they're just going to build a death trap for you the people who set this up should absolutely be responsible for it it's reasonable to think that twitch would keep their con safe well that's the thing so it's a freak accident then no it's not a freak accident this sort of shit happens all the time it's just it's just not to the degree that your everyday okay People who, people who are going to a convention aren't like, they're not like professionals. They're not like gym, gymnasts or anything like that. They're visitors to an event that's designed to be fun. They, ha they, sh they have an expectation that the people who are throwing the event are gonna have safe things there. The people who got injured didn't do anything wrong. They were just sort of trying to, you know, have a good time with the stuff that's in front of them at the event they've been invited to. The, obviously, the fault is on the people who set up the pit. Well, yes, okay, obviously, as Punk Corp says, streamers, some of the laziest and most unathletic people around. Okay, <laughs> maybe, okay, just maybe, all right? I will, I will say that when I first heard about the, ball, the uh, foam pit, I said, oh my God, you thought it was a good idea to put a foam pit at a streamer convention. The guys who literally sit in front of their computer for a profession 12 hours a day, you thought that was a good idea. That was my first thought. But then I kind of went, okay, not all streamers are like that. And also a foam pit is always a bad idea anyway. 
Why didn't they shut down the pit after the first injury? Because people are motherfucking stupid. And because if they shut down the pit, imagine, imagine being the guy who has to stand at the Intel stand and be like, yeah, sorry, we don't have anything here for you. You're gonna get fired so hard. If you're just like standing, you're like in charge of the, of the TwitchCon Intel Legion gaming laptop thing. And your big idea was the ball pit and they have to close the ball pit down in 10 minutes. And you're just like, oh yeah, uh, here's a free sticker. Here's some dum-dums, I guess. You're fucked, you're losing your job. So of course they're gonna keep the foam pit open. They're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Who cares if a couple of streamers kill themselves in our death pit? Oh yeah, another thing, another thing, by the way, that people get, um, that people constantly get injured at is like, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, those, those like school fairs, you know, in like college when they do like little festivals where they have like, again, uh, uh, bouncy house, adult bouncy houses, adult Velcro walls, um, those big bouncy slides, those things, but they have it all set up for like the adult kids. The, the, they're never safe. They're always done on like fucking uh, parking lots and shit. So, pe and, and like those things are designed to be in like, well, a lot of different situations, but they're not really designed to be put in parking lots uh, uh, so easily. And so people will like leap off of them and then they're they're adults so their their body weight will push the thing out from underneath them and they'll like literally hit their bones on the on the asphalt below and get injured and then get flung back up into the air after getting a fucking injury oh hassan survived the ball pit well that doesn't surprise me isn't hassan like well look let's take a look hassan, as you see up lifting the pit hole Oh! Oh! X Q X Q C didn't even stand a chance. Look at that! He fucking threw him. Damn, damn, impressive, impressive, Hassan, flinging that little dude. Just flung. Okay, to be fair, if Hassan had jumped like that other lady had, like if Hassan had done like a leap up into the air like that, he probably would have broken his back as well. But yeah, it fucking sucks that so many people got injured. That fucking blows. That's another thing. They aren't pairing people in weight classes. Yeah, wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be great if you were like, oh boy. <laughs> Just guys, just imagine like uh the going to the going to the TwitchCon like fucking ball pit and you're like, oh boy, I'm an Animal Crossing streamer. I'm a I'm a what's that fucking I'm a Pokemon Nuzlocke streamer and you're like you're like this little tiny stick stick and then you go in and you like get put up against like a bodybuilding streamer who just like films from the gym constantly and they just pick you up and throw you across the fucking entire con floor like you're like you're like uh like a spear you just go like Aah! you know just like obliterated instantly yeah sign the waiver the nerd javelin toss just I don't know. There's just so much that can go wrong with these things. Look, I, I feel really bad for the people who got injured and, uh, uh, God, I, I really, uh, well, I, I wish, I wish the best. Okay. I wish them, I wish them the best. Uh, I, I have a feeling that, uh, Intel is probably going to have a large lawsuit on their hands and they will deserve it. So yeah.